But the important thing about today is it's a bit of a consolidation day, two to one declining to advancing stocks. We want to see a broadening out of the rally. We saw that yesterday, kind of flattish today, sort of a mixed market. Just take a look at the sectors today. So tech's doing a little bit better and consumer discretionary is doing a little bit better. Um, mega caps, the five big names there, they're holding things up. Uh, that's outperforming a little bit. Uh, consumer staples, okay. Healthcare, uh, banks again, underperforming, going back to their old role, role there. It'd be nice to see a little bit of a rally, a uh, sustained rally in banks, but we're not getting that. I uh, want to remind everybody, companies are still pulling guidance. I know we're at the tail end of <laughs> earnings season, but Home Depot did it. Walmart did it. Uh, Advanced Auto Parts did it. We've got almost 40% of the S&P that have essentially pulled full-year guidance. We don't have full-year guidance for most of the companies in the S&P. Uh, earnings today, Walmart trading up. They had a beat. Uh, Walmart, by the way, is, is near a new high. Uh, uh, Home Depot was a little bit of a miss here. I want to concentrate on very interesting comments. Both of them made um, the, the bottom line way down a little bit by pandemic related expenses. This is a bit of a theme that we're starting to see, but particularly in the retailers overall. So look what Walmart and Home Depot said here. Higher wages and benefits and increased cleaning costs. That was an issue for both of those companies. Target had mentioned higher cost squeezing profitability. We'll hear more from them. Uh, shortly. But I think this is a clear theme that's uh, emerging overall. Uh, we had some green shoots. I mean, Southwest, I thought, had some very optimistic comments from the CFO. Look at this. The company has recently experienced a modest improvement in passenger demand bookings and trip cancellations, resulting in month-to-date net positive bookings through May 18th, where new passenger bookings outpaced trip cancellations. Boy, that sounds like good news. And the airlines are trading up today for the most part. This is the first actual two-day rally we have had. Well, now they're flattish. They were up all right at the open, uh, but uh, really nothing moving dramatically off of the, the lows there, aside from yesterday. As for the markets, modest breakthrough yesterday to, uh, what, uh, 29.98 we're looking for. We can get over the 200-day moving average now in the S&P 500. That's uh, the range. We'll hear from Powell today, and I'm sure he's going to emphasize again solvency versus liquidity. They can provide the liquidity, but if there's not enough revenue for solvency, they can't help. And I think that's the big worry that we've got for the markets uh, overall here. You can't just have five mega caps generating the revenue. We've got to have revenue generation. We saw this in the B of A Global Fund Manager Survey, by the way. Carl mentioned this. The big worry, of course, from the fund managers, coronavirus, but permanently high unemployment. This has never appeared on that survey, and that's an indication that they're very worried about the ability to keep generating revenue out there for some of these corporations.